I think we'll start by removing stuff. So we'll uh, work our way around it. But why don't we just like do the top first and we'll get back to it. And then we'll work on the front, the sides, and the back. All right, let's build up this 90. Let's just see what we can do with this. This is a 342 mile engine. It's gonna end up in a uh, CGS Hawk aircraft. And uh, I'd like to follow this all along, all the way from the uh, low mileage uh, car to the uh, show plane that's gonna be built around it. All right, so we pulled some parts off, harnesses, some hoses, intake manifold. Here are the plugs that came out. As you can see, it's almost brand new stuff. Um, and do some cleanup on the coils. Engine is a lot uh, cleaner. We got the automotive stuff off of it. And uh, a little bit of cleanup on it. And it's ready now for, it's been inspected and pull the plugs and check those. And then we're gonna do the compression test and uh, oil analysis and all that. But basically uh, we're now ready to put parts back onto it. Make it an airplane engine. All right, so top's back together. Got the prop plugs back in, the coils back in. I'm gonna start work on the front and uh, probably do this section up here. All right, this engine's going in a CJS uh, Hawk and um, so it's gotta be configured for a pusher installation. So there's not much of anything on top that considers it a pusher or a tractor, but once we get into, into this area, uh, we do uh, just uh, leave this here because we're gonna go uh, around the engine and to the radiator. Uh, we do install, tap and install for the temperature probe, uh, temperature probe for the ECU, and a spare probe for whatever you wanna use it for. In this case, nothing. We will also install the flywheel with the torsion dampening and the uh, replaceable centering bushing for the reduction drive. Moving along. All right, why don't we start working on the back of the engine, which in this case, being a pusher installation, will be the front. So we're, we're gonna install um, some engine mounts or a engine mount uh, and the alternator. All right, so we got the alternator on. Basically, we got a good wrap on the water pump or coolant pump, which is, by the way, very easy to replace if ever needed on this engine. It's just four screws and off it comes. And then the alternator is a very traditional with a machine bracket and your tensioning bolts and uh, lower mount. And that's the uh, genuine nip and dense alternator of 40 amps. I like to keep it simple, so not much to do on this end of the, of the engine. Got the alternator done, it's just so, and there's the engine mount. There's a single mount for the three solar in the back and then two in the front. All right, starter mount is in place. And we'll start working on putting the reduction drive on. Gearbox is in place. Bolts tightened to 25 foot-pounds. Starter we already did. Now let's get on to the engine mounts for the Hawk. All right, so now we have the mount on for the two-inch root tube that a lot of these airplanes have. And it just gets mounted up there like on an Aventura or a, or a Hawk or whatever type of ultra lightish airplane that has a two-inch root tube. And of course, there's the rubber dampers mounted to the mounts we just saw before. And the engine is ready to go up on the plane and on the front there's going to be a single tube that goes down also to the root tube. One thing we did on the last installation we did was, and that's the reason for these little holes here, uh, once the engine's up there, you know, there are a lot of these little kit planes that then when you put a 912 up on it, they used to have a 582. They want additional bracing uh, throughout the airplane, and there's a kit for that. Uh, what we did is, um, right here, is you just uh, you make a little 
strut of sorts and it goes down to the rear spar of the wing and that triangulates and makes this whole engine mounting so much more solid. I think it's time to start on the side profile. So we got thermostat stuff to do. We got an oil cooler, liquid to liquid oil cooler to mount. Uh, we already prepped for the oil pressure transducer that's been tapped and ready. And then we got to get an air cleaner and uh, intake manifold mounted. All right, so this side's done. We've got the uh, housing for a fitting that's going to go to the heater. We'll put that in a little bit later. We have coolant hose to the oil cooler and uh, coolant hose from the oil cooler back to thermostat housing. We have a thermostat housing mounted. We have the block prepped for a oil pressure sensor and we're ready to put the intake manifold on. Intake manifold has been mounted. Air cleaner is in place. Throttle clip is working and installed. Throttle cable clip is installed. Intake manifold is there. So this side of the engine is now done. Moving on to the exhaust side. All right, so the exhaust is done. Now we have a Viking 90 engine. It's gonna go in the CGS Hawk. We'll be shipping uh, this coming week. It's all ready to go with uh, a mounting system. Gearbox. Heater outlet. Cooling outlet. Exhaust system. Air filter. Intake manifold starter, alternator, rear engine mount, off it goes.